are back. Welcome to yet another episode of Let's Eat Orlando with Amy Drew and Biggie. I am Amy Drew. And I am Biggie. And together we are here to talk about something interesting today, a very, very kind of a deep topic for us to launch into on our, you know, on one of our first podcasts together. We're going to talk about vegan spots and eating vegan to some extent, at least. Um, Biggie, how do you feel about vegan restaurants? Oh, it, so this is <laughs> this is one question. of those. It is a loaded question, but I, I will tell you, um, I'm no expert. Um, no, I will I, I I I will say that one. I, I give I give major props because obviously I know there's a lot of bent health benefits when it comes to being vegan and on you know how people feel. Uh, and I also, but I also know as someone who does eat meat and, and all those things and is not a vegan, that it's very difficult to try to sometimes replicate these flavors um, that maybe you're used to. So it's a, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, and I, I give a lot of props to try to make things um, taste plant-based and at the same time taste um, how you may possibly have remembered or how it should be. So I tell, I, I think I try to go in, when I try to eat it, eat or have, you know, any vegan options of something that is supposed to be, I tend to be, I try to be open-minded and I try to, I try not to go, oh, it's going to taste like this. I just want to know, does it taste good? Does it not taste good? That's kind of how I've kind of tried it. Um, and that's kind of how I've kind of gone the route. I've, uh, uh, it's not usually my number one option though. Well, I can tell you from experience because I ate vegan for almost a year. For 10 months. Wow. This was many moons ago. Obviously, that's not something that I can do these days. Um, but I really enjoyed my time eating plant-based. I did feel healthier. I did feel like a better human being. I'm not going to lie. Um, however, I will say this. I was not a processed food person. I still, I wasn't then and I still am not. And so when you say veganism can be healthier, it can be healthy, but you can eat a lot of processed junk. When you're yeah. vegan, the only difference is it is plant-based processed junk. Um, so Got you it. don't necessarily, you're not necessarily eating healthier as a vegan, though you're probably eating healthier just for cutting out all of the saturated animal fats and all of that stuff. Um, I loved being vegan. I learned to be a better cook when I was vegan. When you want to cook good food and you are vegan, your pantry will triple or quadruple with all of the different spices and the different oils and the different things that you use to flavor your food. Um, so if you, if you're, if you want to be vegan and you want to actually learn to cook vegan food, you're gonna need more space in the pantry. So that's one thing I can say. But the other thing is in talking about making things taste like meat, there are a lot of people who want that. That wasn't yep. anything that I was that interested in, you know, and I know that a lot of vegans, they don't eat meat because they don't miss meat. And they don't want things to taste like meat. However, there are plenty of people that are like, oh, I want to eat plant-based, but I would love a good burger. And I have to say the Impossible Burger is a miracle of modern science. That it Whopper, is. that Impossible Whopper does not taste any different from the regular one. I don't care. I defy anyone to prove that you could really, really taste the difference with all that stuff on it. Oh, yeah. And I think that's when it's like, a, when you're able to do something like that, I have no problem with it. My wife likes the two... Um, she'll do some kind of, sometimes she'll go that route where she'll do like a vegan, uh, you know, or a plant-based something or more like, Hey, we're not going to eat any meat. We're going to do more vegetables and, and beans and stuff like that. And there's some things that we have, um, like some chicken tenders that my daughter buys that are, I would, I would have no clue if they were, uh, if they were, if it was real chicken, not real chicken, uh, especially if I'm putting a Chick-fil-A sauce on it. Uh, I have no, I, <laughs> I would not, I would have no idea. Um, I, you know, vegans would, would argue it's better to eat that just because it's cruelty free for sure. And I can't, I can't yes. argue that point, but I just have no interest in that stuff. Like when I eat vegan, I like to eat just, I like to eat natural things that taste natural. I love um, Issa Chandra Moskowitz. She's a phenomenal vegan chef. And uh, I think she still has a restaurant, I think in Oklahoma, Idaho, something. But her cookbooks are just the best. I have favorite recipes that I repeat all the time, but they are recipes. They're not, it, the beet burgers are not supposed to taste like hamburger. They're, Correct. they're beet burgers and they're delicious, but they are not supposed to taste like meat. 
And I think to me, that's, I, I will say to me, that's the hard, the hard part when someone says to me, um, you know, Hey, have this, uh, have this barbecue pork sandwich made out of jackfruit. I, I'm kind <laughs> of like, I'm kind of like, I wish you would just tell me this was like, you're making me like a portobello mushroom, you know, burger or an eggplant, um, you know, sandwich, something like that, or a broccoli sandwich. You know what I mean? Like, I think to me that I would probably those I'd be more open to be like, yeah, let's have it. Let's do it. As opposed to telling me this is what it is. Uh, and then when I take a bite of it, that's what my brain's thinking. And then I'm like, this does not taste like what I'm supposed to, what yeah, I, I like think that. that a lot of times with those names, um, they, you set yourself up for failure, Yeah, you know, by yeah. saying things like burger, but I recently tried, and I know you did too, yes. um, a vegan deli I did. at Market on South called the kind cleaver, which is a great name by it's the way. Super good. Super and good. I have to say for people who need that itch scratched, which is kind of what happened with uh, Justin Rodriguez, who created the brand and the company is he missed sandwiches. This was a comfort food for him growing up. I think one of his parents is from New York. One of his parents is from New Jersey. You know, the concept of the corner store, the bodega, the deli, whatever you have on the corner where you run and get a sandwich. It's a very real thing to people from this part of the country, even though he grew up in Florida. So he grew up with that. And it was always when they didn't want to cook sandwiches, when they didn't want to. So it was just a comfort food for him. And when he decided to be vegan, which started as a health issue for him, um, one of the things that he missed was like that nice cold cut sandwich. And so he decided to learn to make his own, which to me is just the coolest thing. No, I actually, um, so I did try, I did try one of the, I tried their, uh, like I Ocho, their Cuban. And, uh, and I actually, after, after having it, I literally was, I went down the rabbit hole. I started kind of looking, um, and trying to figure out like, okay, how, like, there like there's a lot of work and effort that goes into trying to make um make something like this like a deli make it make a meat make something that looks like a meat and slices like a like a like a deli slice it's a texture thing and and Correct. he talked about that but one of the things he pointed out and this part is true is that largely when you get a deli meat a lot of the flavor comes from things like garlic and cayenne pepper and whatever spices and herbs you're putting in this basically giant sausage that you then slice up, right? Yeah. So you can, you know, all of those things are vegan. Yeah. So you can flavor the seitan, which is a, a viral wheat gluten. It's basically yep. the protein from the wheat. Mm -hmm. So when people say, what do vegans eat for protein? Like vegans can get protein. They have no problem. Stop saying that to them. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. And I, they're vegan bodybuilders and they get protein. They need it and they get it. <laughs> yeah. No. And, and I, and that's one of the things I saw about when it comes to the citine is, uh, is the fact that it, like the flour base and I've seen some deli meats cause I started looking cause I, I have a friend who is, um, a, a known YouTuber. His name is Mark. Uh, he's a sauce stash. Uh, and he basically is always, I'm always watching. That's kind of how I know, or at least watch as much when it comes to having to do with vegan and like plant-based stuff. He's always making stuff like that. Um, and so I actually watched after I ate the sandwich, I actually literally went online starting to try to figure out, I'm like, okay, how do they do this? Because this is a, it's a lot of work involved and they, there's like three different versions on how they can make this. Um, you know, like they, obviously the, the wheat, fl the, the wheat flour based, they also, there's also like a tofu version that you would do mm -hmm. tofu. There's also another version with like chickpeas, chickpea flour, um, and you make it. And, and I was amazed by the amount of work. Like, I mean, that's kind of like, it's a labor of love because obviously you gotta, you really gotta want to eat this, to, mm -hmm. to, you know, or, or and to take that much work in order to kind of, uh, to produce and try to create these flavors, um, for you to be able to then be able to create something that allows you to then slice like a deli meat. Right. And I think that that's really, you know, where he nails this. It does have to me. And I'm not speaking for you. It has that texture. When I ate the classic, which is kind of like their take on the 
uh, you know, kind of like an Italian hero, I guess. And you have all that stuff. You have this great roll. The bread there comes from Old Hearth. And you have all of the good cold crunchies, like the lettuce and the tomato and the vinaigrette and the Dijon or whatever he puts on there. Um, and then you have the texture of these things that really feel and bite like cold cuts. And so for me, I thought anybody who is plant-based, it may not scratch the itch. For people who are doing Meatless Monday, try it. But for somebody who misses that and who's eating plant-based... Um, or tr just trying to cut back on the meat, I feel like, boom, that, that Cuban, you have to admit, that would scratch the itch for somebody who couldn't eat a genuine Cuban. Yeah, I, I do think so. I mean, I, so it's I got actually. The pickles, it's got the mustard. There's a level of cheese, which I think really has to go in sandwiches. Cause I will admit as amazing as impossible meat is, I do not think anyone has come out with a cheese equivalent. No. I don't think that the vegans have the best cheese yet. I don't. No. I think we're still waiting for that. Yeah, that's that's still happening. But it does but do a good job of holding things together. It <laughs> does. It does. And I know. I know when I had the the calle ocho is what they call it, right? They're mm -hmm. Cuban. Um, you recommended, and I I thought it was a great touch. Uh, to the point where I'm like, next time I have a Cuban, I may ask for them to do the same thing, putting the maduros, the the sweet plantain. So good. Um, into the sandwich with the gar their garlic aioli. Um, I loved I love the idea of it. Usually when I have a Cuban uh, and and so I will preface this. I um, I usually I've, I'm very I, it's going to be very hard to make me happy with a Cuban. I am I am Cuban. I eat a lot of Cuban sandwiches. So like I tend to be picky. So I will say that when someone tells me, hey, have my Cuban. Um, I don't usually if it's not a traditional Cuban, I'm I'm OK with it being not being a traditional Cuban, but I will close my eyes and, and kind of just kind of com compartmentalize and not say not make it not try to judge it based on it being this is what it is. But based on what they did, even though I added the, you know, added the Maduros, I thought it was I thought it was I thought it was good for a vegan Cuban sandwich. That is all that I would ask of you. Because I, you don't eat this way, but think correct. about somebody who can't have Cubans on wheels. I correct, and I, and I, I <laughs> will about, say I about will. That poor guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel bad. I feel bad. I will say that I liked out of the ones out of because what I did was when I ate it, um, I actually did de disassemble it. So I I actually ate it like a sandwich, and then I was curious. Okay, because. There's some things that kind of like there was a lot of pickle. There was a lot of mustard flavor. So a lot of those things get lost. And then I was I was I, me as an eater. I was curious. I so think then the I, ham that he makes is yes. really hammy. Yes. The, right? I, I will say out of the two, the ham and the pork, uh, you know, slices, the ham, I thought I would be like that. The ham was was, you know was very good. I was like, okay, I could see this. Like I could so see people need to go there. And if you're a ham person and yes. you and you were a vegan now, just go get a ham sandwich. Yes. And just because one of the things that he told me when I talked to him was that <clears throat> the vegan meats that were on the market weren't scratching that itch for him. He didn't want to drop names, but we know what they are. But the ones that you see in the supermarket, and I agree with him, um they just don't do it. That's why That's why when I was vegan, I didn't eat any of that stuff because yeah. it just wasn't good. I'd rather just yeah. make curry with vegetables and enjoy a real dish that's not supposed to, that's not anything, it's, it's not trying to be anything it isn't, you know? Yeah. And so I agreed with him on that, but he wanted to try. And I think that it's the closest I have ever tasted and felt to anything non you know, anything non-vegan. I'm not, you know, you, I could eat a vegan hot dog, but the thing about vegan hot dogs is if you put all the hot dog stuff on them, you can barely tell, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's just like eating a not great regular hot dog. So it Correct. really does feel real because the consistency, you mask it. but, but I, yeah, well, a not dog doesn't taste like a hot dog. It just, no. it doesn't. <laughs> but I mean, I will say that I will, I, like I will say that you like hot dogs I, hot dogs are great <laughs> i love hot dogs as well is that wasn't one of your categories was it like best hot dog that's not it wasn't a foodie no thing, not either. no jordan no. from cholo dogs is really pushing for that yeah i i, I <laughs> could imagine i could imagine that there's a lot of different hot dogs uh hey, jordan, in town too. we love you what, 
I will say that I will say that um, I had recently because of the fact that I like, and it's something that I have tried to become more open and in, in the sense of eating of like, you know, trying out different things. I had um, I had one of my friends from uh, Winter Park Ch- Biscuit, uh, Winter Park Biscuit basically was like, hey, have you tried? Nick was like, hey, have you tried um, the chopped cheese there? And I was like, I go, I didn't even realize you guys did that. I thought you guys just did chicken and, and biscuits and, and stuff like that. And he's like, no, we do this chopped cheese. And they use an impossible burger and they make a chopped cheese um, sandwich there. So wait, and, does uh, chopped cheese traditionally have meat in it? So they put Yes. So okay. chopped cheese. So a chopped cheese is basically a chopped cheese is, is New York's version of a Philly cheesesteak, but they use hamburger. Where in and New York? They, Upstate? Suppo- yeah, no. New York City now. That's like the new thing in New York City now. Chopped oh, cheese well, is like the new well, where trend. Where is it from originally? Because it wasn't I in New York say it's like Bro- I want to say maybe Brooklyn. I want to say. Yeah, no, it wasn't when we were there. Like it was not new. This is like a new, a new fad, um, chopped cheese. And basically, what they're doing is it's literally a hamburger chopped up, like almost like chopped up. It almost looks like, and then they put all the ingredients that you would like, almost like a Philly cheesesteak, and you would eat it like a sub the in that version. While you talk, um, and so <laughs> I basically I had one of those um, at Winter Park Biscuit and. It was good. I, I I ate half of it. I brought the other half because I wanted my wife to try it. She had it, and she was like, I, "The flavors are there. It's delicious." Um, and so I mean, and, and obviously that kind of plays a testament to, like you said, originating from meats. New York City. When? Yep, yep. I'm telling you, it's a weird. I, I don't know. I never heard of it until I just think Legendary it's funny because chopped cheese. Yeah. I've never. Yep. This we're gonna take a, a field trip. We're gonna take a field trip because there's a few places in Orlando that actually sell chopped cheese. But I don't know uh, what a real one tastes like. I know that's the hard part. But that's kind of uh. So for me, that was something that I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I want to try it. I want to check it out. Um, and like I said, I kind of did. I did ask, uh, and I know that there's some amazing, uh, you know, restaurants that are vegan. Uh, and I, I know one of them being obviously, uh, what was her name's. The Jean eats, obviously she's uh she has amazing food. Uh, you know, I know uh and that's one of the big things for me that I've I'm always kind of looking to try try new places. So I mean obviously if you have a vegan restaurant and it doesn't have to be I will tell you this, if it has just like I love vegetables, so I don't have a problem you like Taco if it's Bell like Taco Bell Crunch wraps. Yeah, I do love Taco you Bell. You gotta Crunch go to wraps. Leguminati then. Okay. You they make go a good. They out. make a good one with like they make I, like, and that's the thing. Like, I don't have a problem if it's like sautéed, bro- like if it's like sautéed broccoli and vegetables and a whole bunch of mixed vegetables uh, into a sandwich or something like that, or into a crunch wrap. I'm I'm down for that. I'm down for that. They, or and, even with they pasta. also do they do some of the uh, some of the fake meats there, the too. jackfruits and all that stuff too. Yeah, but I think they do more. I don't know which product they use. I'm not sure. Yeah, but um, but they do a good job you know, recreating that. Um, I believe it was ages ago when I talked to her, but Bex from Leguminati, that was like mm-hmm. her thing yeah. in high school. She loved to go to Taco Bell and get a crunch wrap. <laughs> <laughs> now she's vegan and she found a way to still do that. So, and you know, you- people love that stuff. So it's not surprising, but this is what I mean. Like this is not diet food. No, you know, no, no, no. So- I- out of curiosity, do you know? And I've always kind of curious about this because obviously it's a it's ethos a great, is not diet food. It's, it's like, a great business aspect. I mean, I think it's like I saw something like forty five percent of restaurants um, are you know either obviously a majority now all have some form of plant based or some form of vegetarian plant based style um, on their menus. But I, I think I saw something recently where it was like forty five percent of the restaurants are some version of a plant based type uh thing it's like it's becoming more and more uh, of obviously a, a common thing how many at least in your in your knowledge I'm, I'm picking you as an expert is there do you know like how many of them are actually are like i know obviously this is a great business concept and i'm thinking now more in the business side of things like how do many, you what is the question how many owners do you know how many owners actually are vegan or like you know what i mean like have you come across any that own like a vegan restaurant but are not vegan no i don't think so no okay. no and i but i can't speak to them cheating no, no. i don't no. know who cheats no no i know i, I know, know and i'm not and i'm not no. asking you to name names i'm just but, just curious no i'm just thinking about it no no because and in I, my brain i think about it i press 
who are vegans and also butchers. Like they butcher real steak, but they don't eat it. Yeah. That's you interesting. Know? Um, but no, and when I'm thinking about, you know, Justin's a vegan, Ethos is vegan, Jen from Day Jen, it's vegan. Everybody's vegan. Who, who Everybody I know personally who I've met and talked to um, for the purposes of work who owns a vegan place is a vegan, to my knowledge. And they weren't always, they all had their own journeys. Some of them, you know, it was more ethical. Some of them, it was health related. You know, some of them wanted, yeah, the, the, everybody comes to it in a, from a different direction. Yeah. Um, a for lot me, of them. When I tried it, it was like definitely, uh, it was crazy when I went vegan and I didn't cut portions. I didn't do anything. I lost 10 pounds without wow. doing anything other than cutting animal products out of my diet. People and but man, you never saw people faster. They'd be like, "Wow, you look great! What'd you do?" I was like, "Well, I went vegan," and and you just see them glaze over. They're like, "Yep, nope, <laughs> nope, not doing nope. that." Yeah, my uh, my daughter asked me that question, and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, you think I would want to?" Uh, but n no, I was like, "No, I, I unfortunately." And the kind cleaver was, I, if I remember correctly, um, on for your foodie awards, they won. They won your critics' choice. Yes, um, I was. I am amazed by what they do, and and we've been talking about the sandwiches, but I need to also throw this out there. They do a mac and cheese again. It cheese for me, vegan cheese, but the mac and cheese, pretty darn good for vegan mac and cheese. Uh, Dharma Southern does a really good uh, version of that as well. Um, I probably like, I'm so picky with mac and cheese. I probably like more people's vegan mac and cheese than actual mac and cheese. Really? Yeah. I'm super picky. It, mac and cheese is like a million calories. If I'm going to eat like a bowl of somebody's mac and cheese, it has to be outstanding. Outstanding. The, the recipe that I put in the Sentinel for the five cheese mac and cheese, that is the best recipe for mac and cheese. Not vegan. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Not vegan. to get back to the, to, to get yeah. back to the kind cleaver, the quinoa salad side that they had was just so delicious. It reminded me how much I love quinoa and I dug it out of my pantry and was like, oh, I have to make some because it's been a while. Um, they do a great job. And again, they have phenomenal bread from Old Hearth. Um, they one of the things that I'm dying to try is the, they have they have good names. They have a sandwich called the Plunge that I know is one of their most popular, and it's their take on a French dip. Nice, I love and, that. Uh, I do love I the love names. They, that. yeah, they have some great names too. I, I did uh, I did enjoy their their uh, all the different names. Yeah, they wowed me. And, and Market on South, you know, it's been a little. It's been a vegan place for a while. You go there. First of all, the sandwiches are huge. You do, and so it may be a fifteen dollars sandwich, but it is two meals. It is incredibly shareable, so it is yep. not expensive at all. Um, mm -hmm. And right there, you have a vegan. You have a plant based coffee house. You have a vegan ice cream slash dessert and the desserts shop and the right yeah, there they have and beautiful desserts. The ice cream looks good. Everything looked good. I was I I while I was waiting for it, I was like looking at everything, and I was like, the pastries looked amazing. And, uh, I got the, the ice coconut cream oat good. cookie and it was really good. So I recommend that the oatmeal cookie was good. The coconut oat or coconut oatmeal. I can't remember exactly what it was. That one was really, really good. So that's awesome. No, I can't, uh, do you have a favorite, since you're talking desserts, do you have a favorite vegan dessert place? Um, well, I mean, Greenery Creamery and Sampaguita have vegan stuff on the menu always. Yep. Um, and not just sorbet, they have ice cream yeah. too. So that's a great, they have vegan halo halo. How can you, at Sampagita, how can you say no to that? It's amazing. Yeah. So I don't know my favorite. I don't know enough. I, I love, oh, I love Valkyrie donuts. Oh yeah. That's... Which is also breakfast. Yep. <laughs> Yep, yep. Because it's no, a donut. No, that's, can, that's funny. So that's the funny part. Like, I think if someone said to me, like, "Hey, we're vegan," I'm like, "Vegan desserts? Yeah, I could talk a little more about those." Yeah, Val yeah, that's one of uh, I love one is amazing. Valkyrie donuts. Yeah. Huge fan. I like a lot of them. The churro is my just it. N nothing has knocked that one off the top of my list. Yeah, but uh, no, but I, I also like just go grab the uh, the nugs, like a cup of the donut holes. Mm -hmm which they call nugs. And those are great for the car fits right in yep. your cup holder. 
and you mm-hmm. can just eat them while you drive. I do a Road lot of eating donuts. in the car. <laughs> Road donuts. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you got to check out Valkyrie. Great stuff. And there's a new donut shop that I heard about um, that's vegan that I want to go check out. So I'll report back when I go do that. Oh, yeah, definitely do. I, I'm curious of that. I'm all about the I'm all about I I love I will say this. I do. I, I give total props to places that ha- can create amazing tasting food, whether or not it's one or the other. Like if it's you know, it doesn't matter. Good food is good food. Uh, with good flavors and and those are the things I, I always am looking for uh, so I definitely appreciate you know when someone's making something that has you know all the different flavors and, and is actually just you know opening up your taste buds to try new things I think that's kind of the best part of the this the journey of being able to try and also being open to trying trying Keep new foods an open mind you know yeah. that's what I say to people when they hear the word yeah. vegan I see their eyes glaze over And this was, you know, I didn't feel like it was fair, you know, 10 years ago or whenever it was that I did this, I'd have to pinpoint it. But today they have so many more things out there. So many restaurants, you know, you, people should eat more plants. It's better for the planet. So, you know, you don't have to be a vegan to help solve the problem. You know, you cut, you cut the meat or the, the animal products out one day a week, two days a week you're cutting out a lot of the things that we're trying to fix. Yep. Eat some so, more vegetables, add some more spices. Yeah. Get uh get fruit, get uh you know, <laughs> Yeah. Eat the greens, folks. Eat the greens and uh, and all the other ones. I I definitely uh, I do agree with that. Peanut um, butter. I mean peanut butter is a perfect food. You could put it on cake, wouldn't you? I could, I could, I've eaten it. I've eaten it on burgers. I've eaten it on impossible burgers. All right. There you go. That's great though. That's good. Yeah. I love that. Uh, I think this is a, I, I think this has been fun. I definitely want to be able to talk more about all the different types of food. I, I definitely think it's something that we should, uh, we should look into. I'd love to talk more about just different foods out of, uh, out of the norm, out of the norm to eat. Not saying that, being eating vegan is out of the norm, but I I think it's something that um, would be fun to be able to share. It's less and less obscure. Everybody has at least one friend who's a vegan or a vegetarian. Correct. Um, And there's just so much good food out there, you know, to to knock it. Don't, don't yuck other people's yum. Try it. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And and definitely check, take a look. And and if you recommend places, um, we're, we're down for recommendations. We, uh, we're always ready to hear new places to eat, new places to try. If there's a, a, you know, obviously I don't, I eat more than just sandwiches folks. So I'm all about just, uh, you know, tell me where, tell me where and where, what we can try and we'll, I'm willing to try it. I think it'll be good. Yeah, we'll go. I'll yeah, go. I think it'll I'll be fun. Uh-huh. You, you will eat anything. I will. I will. I'll, I'll eat pretty much anything. I love it. Oh, well, I think that's, uh, I think that's our show for today. Uh, and I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you telling me to, and inviting me and asking me to go eat, uh, at the kind cleaver. I, I, I definitely wouldn't probably wouldn't have eaten it if it wasn't you and I talking about it and saying to give it a try. And I'm glad I did. I got, I love uh, it. you can go <laughs> buy that ham. And if you just sub that ham into your Cuban, you can make your Cuban less, you know, yeah. animal forward. You can cut some calories out of it. You can add protein into it because some mm-hmm. of this stuff has more protein yeah. than animal protein. Or maybe and, good ham and, and cheese, grilled healthier. cheese or something like that with You'll it. You'll be just, just think about if you have that, if you ate a Cuban every week and you just cut the ham out, how many saturated fats would you be eliminating from your diet? Quite a bit. I don't eat a Cuban every week though, but yes, <laughs> I, uh, if I did, that would be a, a wise decision to definitely add, uh, as a substitute, uh, to be able to do that. Try to eat, uh, eat more greens or eat, uh, you know, less meat, uh, once a week is definitely something that my wife and I, uh, discuss quite often. Oh, wait, you know what yeah. I just thought of, you what? know, who has a really good, I think it's vegan. I'll double check it. Hen and hog does a collard green it's like a sandwich made of collard greens. It's like a collard green nice. grilled cheese. I will double check the facts and you can put it in the notes. We'll put it in the show notes. We'll put it but in the show really notes good. for some top places that we like. I'm not sure if it might like. be vegetarian, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it also might be vegan. And if it is, highly recommend. Either way, if you're vegetarian, I recommend it. I love it. I love it. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for listening to Let's Eat Orlando with Amy Drew and Biggie. 
have a good night, everyone.